Hi people, uh, another video for you guys. Uh, this time is a custom knife from a uh, knife maker. Uh, his name is uh, Tom Watson. Uh, he is in uh, Florida. Um, Mr. Watson is a very, very detailed uh, knife maker. And as you can see, this is a, a very a, um, thoughtful knife. This model is called the Wasp. And uh, it's the 3.5 inches uh, size. He usually makes it around 3 inches. This is the only 3.5 inches uh, wasp that he made and uh, it was intended for a uh, personal use but uh, he decided to sell it and uh, I guess I was lucky as you can see um, the difference between a uh, custom knife and a production knife is that uh, production knife misses a lot of uh, details and because uh, it simply cannot do with uh, all the machining as for custom knife uh, custom maker they can uh, do a lot of uh, detail works that uh, gives the knife some uh, personalities that uh, you cannot be bought any anywhere else let's say for example this is a flipper style he also makes a uh, um, thumb stop style and uh, I think he's, uh, he's he's got tired of the uh, flipper style and he's not making any flipper anymore because I think uh, all maker should make what he likes and uh, before, because that's what make them uh, stand out and I think he's going back to the thumb stud style blade because um, I think that's what he think it's the uh, it's what he likes okay back to the knife this is a G10 green G10 with carved uh, lines for traction some of his uh, other was model doesn't come with a, a carved line so this is a special one um, this is a titanium bolster uh, which make it make the knife uh, looks much better and as you can see the connection point here it's not a straight line it's actually a, uh, a line going downwards which makes the connection even more tighter the liners here as you can see it's uh, titanium and it has a blue anodized color on each hole the back spacer here is a G10 with a bronze tube inserted it's for the look and it's very very well done because it's uh, it's very th smooth it's it's all it, it feels like it's it's one piece and um, I don't know if you can see but uh, the titanium liner here also it has a gold anodized color so it's very very nice same with the the, the liner the, the front That's a lot of work putting into the liner lock locks up really tight no play on knives and uh, the stage is about the it's about perfect stage the ergo feels really good and uh, the jeeping works very fine 
the blade is D2 steel. Uh, it's it's a very uh, hard steel, although it lacks in a uh, corrosion resistance. So you have to keep it dry or oiled. Um, another knife maker, Bob Dozier, he also makes a lot of custom knives with uh, D2 steel. So I guess uh, it's a it's a very nice uh, working steel. This is a uh, hog hog uh, style knife. It's it has uh, its purpose for uh, downward cutting and uh, it's very sharp. The pocket clip. It's uh, full titanium, as you can see, it's also very thick. Stay really well in your pocket. Uh, it's tip up carry only, which I like for this knife. And uh, um, it's not, re well, it's removable, but it's not, you cannot put it anywhere else. Um, the flipping action is. Uh, it's good. I wouldn't say it's as fast as uh, IKBS or uh, uh, Mr. RJ Martin's uh, roll, uh, uh, bearing uh, system, but uh, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good, and I th I'm very sure that it will uh, get better uh, with time. Um, it uses a, a, a internal blade stop, so uh, you don't see any uh, stop bars here. It has a cutout in, inside the blade. All in all, this is a very very nice knife. It's uh, it just shouts custom, and uh, I'm very happy. Uh, and from getting this knife so um, if you have a chance go to uh, Mr. Watson's uh, website he has a lot of uh, knives and I'm not sure if he's taking orders right now but uh, you can try your luck very nice stretch here the blade is flat, grind, I think. Might be wrong, but uh, if it's not flat, it's really a shallow, hollow grind. Sorry about the focusing. Alright, guys, let me know if you have any questions and uh, I'll answer them ASAP. Uh, the only one downside for this knife is a little heavy, but uh, it feels really solid in your hand. So uh, I don't know if that's a plus or minus, but uh, anyway, I will not use this knife as a working knife because it's just too pretty. This is going to be a collector's knife. And the G10 has a really nice texture. I don't know if you can see from the reflection of the light. Yeah, it feels really nice in hand. It has like a little uh, dimple, and uh, it has these uh, curves. Re looks really nice. All right, guys. Thank you.